Well, hello. Today we are going to talk about how to break in a scooter. And in this video, I will show you how. Ah. Well, hello. The first thing I should say is congratulations when you just bought a new scooter. So usually when you have to break in a scooter, that means that you buy a new scooter and it's the new baby for you and you have to take care of the little baby for a while so that baby will take care of you in a longer way if you take care of the baby first now there is a lot of little things you should take care of when you buy a new scooter number one change the oil right away because you don't really have an idea of the motor oil that's inside of the motor when you buy the scooter because uh, you don't really have an idea you don't know what kind of oil is that Number one, you really need a oil that is not synthetic. Not synthetic oil, the Castro GTX 1030W is perfect. Now, also change right away when you buy a new scooter the gear oil and place like 80, 90 gear oil. Something that you really know, okay, that is there. Now, after that, you really need to change the oil. At the first 300 miles, you do an oil change for the motor oil. At this 500 miles, you change the oil again. At 1,000 miles, you change the oil again. But at 1,000 miles on your scooter, I want you to put a oil that is full synthetic. Now, why synthetic, not synthetic? Okay, so you really need to break in the motor. A synthetic oil, a synthetic oil is a little too slippery to begin with a scooter. Because usually what happens with a scooter is that the synthetic oil really doesn't scratch the surface, doesn't really give a little grinding. Now, when a scooter is new, it needs to get together and get those uh, shaving, metal shaving out. Because it's like a little orchestra, that they need to work together and get all the things working together. But they also get, you know, engaged, they need to engage. Now, if you put the slippery oil, the shaping are not going to come out really good. Plus, um, the cylinder and the piston and the piston ring, they need to set, okay? So, by going up and down, the cylinder is going to, and the rings, they are going to make little grooves on the side of the cylinder, okay? So that one will help in the future with the compression of your scooter. Now, the better you're going to break in your scooter, the better it is for your scooter because in the longer way you're going to have a better compression. So this one is something really important with your scooter to have the better braking point. So you really have to brake in the scooter the right way. Now also you have to keep down the speed. You know, for the first from zero to 100 miles, do not reach over 20 miles an hour if you have a GY 650cc. Now, if you, after 200 miles, uh, you know, you can go 200, from 200 to 300 miles, don't reach over 25 miles an hour. And now, after that, from 300 to 500 miles an hour, to 500 miles, you can put a little more speed and go to a higher elevated speed, about 35 to 40 miles an hour. Now, there is many ways to break in your scooter when your scooter is brand new. Now, they say driver like you stole it, you know? <laughs> so you go crazy with the scooter and you rave the engine a lot. But unfortunately with the scooter, because you have a CVT, the continuous variation transmission, continuous variable transmission, you cannot really do that. So it's kind of difficult to bring up the RPM, put it down RPM, put it up RPM. That would be the best thing now. They say that the best thing could be to drive in the city. So up and down with the RPM will help a lot for the scooter to get together with all the little things that are there, there you know, they're inside the motor. It's very important. After that, there is something that you really have to keep down. You have to keep down the RPM of your scooter. Keeping down the RPM of your scooter, your scooter is not going to overheat. So if you keep down the RPM, lower the 5000 RPM is always better. Now there is a little trick that you can play. If you have a GY 650cc scooter, you should buy roller weights for your varietal 
there are 18 grams. So those ones, they will help you to keep down the RPM of your scooter. That's something really important. Really roller weight, they're really cheap. The only thing you really need a little work to change them and put 18 gram roller weight. That would be the perfect thing to do. There is a lot of little things that you can do. When you buy a new scooter and you have your new scooter just coming in from the company. Now, remember, very important, when you ride your scooter first time, your tires, they need to have at least 100 miles until they break in. That means they, they're very nice and smooth. They really look nice, the, the, the tire of your scooter, but they're kind of slippery. So you have to be careful with those tires. Until 100 miles that you have those uh, tires on your scooter, at that point you start to have a little grip, okay? So that's something you really have to be careful with the tire because they're, they, they're slightly slippery, even on water. You really have to be careful. And when you're curving, if you curve with a brand new tire, you really have to be careful because the tire is too smooth. So there is a lot of little things that you really have to think about it when you buy a new scooter. So keep down the RPM. Don't ride more than an hour and a half. You know, you should have at least every hour, you should keep your scooter rest for 10 minutes. You know, try to check your manual of your scooter, what they say to keep your scooter braking in the right way. Now, remember, the RPM keep it down low, don't go too fast for the first 100 miles. Keep the speed down to 20, 25 miles an hour. Now, try to be gentle with your scooter, okay? Try to listen to your scooter if you hear any noise that is not normal. Because sometimes when the scooter come in from the company, they maybe don't have all the screw nice and tight. So keep your eyes on all the screw of your scooter. That's something you should break in in your scooter and keep an eye. Because sometimes they're not really tied up. It is also for your safety to have the scooter nice and tied up everywhere. Now, make sure when you run with your scooter, you try to stop and start, stop and start. Don't go for a long period of time with the same RPM, because at that point, your scooter, really RPM, will keep the motor up and your motor will start to burn. So you don't really want to have a burning engine. You want something that's cooling down all the time, okay? Especially in the summertime, if you have a brand new scooter, you need to keep the temperature down of the scooters. Remember, oil change, very important. So oil change, the first oil change as soon as you get the scooter. The second one at 300 miles, the third one at 500 miles, and at 1,000 miles, you do a synthetic, synthetic motor oil change, okay? So at this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to visit my YouTube channel, my TikTok, and thank you for watching.